Humans are notoriously bad at understanding exponential growth and its implications. With that in mind, I watched Warren Redlick's recent video, link in the description, based on a Tasmanian article about the Giga Shanghai production forecasts for 2021. He runs the numbers on Tesla auto and energy sales for next year. By his estimates, Tesla is on a solid exponential growth curve and could sell between 1 and 1.4 million vehicles in 2021. Not only is this fantastic news for Tesla auto sales, it means the competition has about zero chance of catching up with Tesla on full self-driving. Here's why. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. Before I start this episode, I want to say a huge congratulations to SpaceX, to NASA, to Elon Musk, to Glenn Shotwell, etc., etc., and of course to the crew of Resilience. Wow, what an amazing flight. It looks like science fiction when you look at the inside of their spacecraft and their spacesuits. My wife was like, they're not wearing spacesuits, they're wearing these cool sci-fi suits, and I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> That's what the whole future is looking like now. So again, super big congratulations. Stay safe, enjoy your ride, and hopefully the return trip will be just as as boring. And also a big shout out to the S&P 500 for finally including Tesla. <laughs> Stock to the moon, baby. So why do I say that Tesla's big sales mean that they will have an even more insurmountable lead in full self-driving next year? It has to do with the law of exponentials, obviously. Tesla has around a million cars with full self-driving capability on the road right now. And just to point this out, even if full self-driving is not enabled by the consumer, it is running in shadow mode in the background, collecting data for Tesla. If each car drives around 15,000 miles a year, that's 15 billion miles of data that Tesla is collecting each year. It's taken Tesla around eight years or so to get to that amount of data. In one year, one year, Tesla is going to double that. They're going to jump from 15 billion data miles to 30 billion data miles if they sell over a million cars next year. So that means they're doubling the amount of data they get in one year, just one year. And if they ship 2 million cars in 2022, which is a reasonable estimate, then they jump to 60 billion miles. So every time, of course, they double shipments, their full self-driving data collected is also doubling. So by 2023-ish or early 2024, they could go from averaging around 15 billion miles of collected data per year to 60 billion miles of collected data. In just a second, we'll discuss how Tesla plans to process that data. But first, please like this video if you enjoy it, because YouTube's algorithm depends on that. And also make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff. I promise you, I told you that the Explainable AI episode was coming. Arthur and I have been in conversation. That episode is coming soon, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. We've got a new Discord channel started. It's a lot of fun. We're having chats and everything. And a big shout out to a new patron, David McKay. Thank you so much. If you want to join the fun, take a look in the description and sign up at any level. I don't have tiers because I know for some people it's difficult to afford anything. So I appreciate anything <laughs> from a dollar onward or a euro or a pound or whatever it is. So thank you so much. Also, a huge shout out to my musician, Zenly Music. Definitely make sure you check out his link in the description or just search for Zenly Music. He's a really amazing composer. And of course, if you're in the market for a new Tesla, check out our referral link. If you choose to buy a Tesla and you use that link, we both get a thousand supercharger miles. So of course, when you think about it, going from 15 billion data miles to 30 billion and then to 60 billion, that is an insane amount of data to process, which is why enter the dojo. Dun, dun, dun. If you haven't checked out my episode on Dojo, definitely make sure you check that out. So as you might expect from the big brain people at Tesla, Dojo is built precisely to handle the crazy training needs of this ever growing data set. They've seen this coming for a while now. I personally predict that around six months after Dojo goes online and you know fully working and everything, full self-driving is going to achieve really close to L4 autonomy. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. What that means is that full self-driving under almost all circumstances will be statistically better than humans driving. And after that, it's just chasing the nines. And that's not a bad thing, right? Even though you get to that official level, you should definitely continue to chase the nines because the better the driving gets, the fewer accidents, the safer everyone is. 
Also consider that not only are the number of miles useful on their own, but they provide the other key ingredient that Tesla needs. The more miles driven by the more variety of people or the more variety of places around the world, the more edge cases are gonna be called out from the data. Which, by the way, Dojo is also built to do autonomously. It's built to call out edge cases, places where humans had to take over. So with 1 million, then 2 million, then 4 million, et cetera, drivers of Tesla all over the world, and 50 billion, and then 30 billion, and then 60 billion, et cetera, miles of data, all kinds of bizarre edge cases are going to start to appear, and they're going to be repeated. It won't just be a one-off, but there'll be many of these edge cases that will show up over and over again. We could have things like dirt roads, which isn't even that unusual in the United States, in the back country at least, <laughs> flooded streets, hailstorms, goats jumping in front of the car, uh, you know, I don't know, but just all kinds of bizarre things. And they won't just happen once, they'll happen multiple, multiple times. And the more times they happen and the slight variations, the better it is for machine learning training. The more times that these edge cases arise, the more Dojo can train on it, and the better it can train on it, and the better it's going to be able to handle each of those weird situations in the future. So this type of exponential data growth means that the full self-driving level four autonomy and eventually level five will go from the common cases to the weirder cases, to the really weird cases, to the really, really weird cases. Because when you have that many billions of miles being driven, everything's gonna happen pretty much. This is a very powerful positive feedback loop that few other companies can match right now. Like right now, and wow. <laughs> like VW Corporation makes around 10 million cars a year. So theoretically, if they had full self-driving enabled in all of their cars, they could do data collection on them, but they don't right now. But consider after just a few more years of exponential growth, Tesla is going to be so far ahead, there's not going to be another automaker on the planet who could even produce that number of cars and therefore that amount of data per year. Redlick is absolutely right to say how important this crazy increase in auto sales next year is for Tesla's bottom line and for its stock, obviously. But let's not lose sight of the biggest prize that's out there. And many people have said this is a trillion dollar thing. It, all these miles are going to allow Tesla to complete full self-driving in far less time than people think right now. That's where exponentials come in. If other companies like Waymo and GM Cruise, et cetera, are paying drivers to drive expensive cars around to collect data, they simply can't scale like that. There's no way to use that model to increase your mileage exponentially. You can only at best do it linearly. But Tesla can do this and they are doing this and they're going to have a robo taxi fleet sooner than anybody thinks and they're gonna dominate full self-driving sooner than anybody thinks and they're gonna keep improving by orders of magnitude even after they get official regulatory approval. They're going to keep doing this for years to come due to their exponential data lead. I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it informative and thought-provoking about that. I want to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers. There have been so many new subscribers. I'm really, really humbled and a little bit overwhelmed, honestly. Uh, and actually, we're starting to get you know, close-ish enough to 10,000 subscribers that I'm going to do a giveaway when we get to that. I have a special little gift in mind that I'd like to give away. So if you're looking for, you know, the possibility of getting a free thing or something, <laughs> definitely make sure you subscribe. And hopefully you enjoy these and find them useful and you can subscribe for that as well. But anyway, just even if you watch the video and like it, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, I wanna say a very quick shout out to my wife. She is busy working on this. Notice that the background color has changed from that pukey brown to a nice gray, and uh, <laughs> it's starting to get much, much better. She's, she's still got other ideas, but thank you so much to her. And in the meantime, please do ask me questions in the comments or at my email address, which is drknowitallknows at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Till next time, bye-bye.